Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Michael of Planner Time with Michael. Thank you all so much for joining me today. In today's video, it should be a really short video because I wanted to do a haul video, but I don't know if I can really even call it a haul because it's just, it's a very small order of items that I just received today. Today I'm filming this on today's Wednesday. I don't even know the date. 17th maybe. Um, but I wanted to show it because I kind of want to start using these items. And then, so it's a very small um, haul. And the reason I did it is because I had those rewards. I had two of them. I think I had, I want to say I had one for 15 and one for five. And I got an email saying it was the last day that I could use them. So I wanted to make sure that I did use them. So I made a small order, and like I said, it just came today. And then I want to give you kind of an update on my Poke Tool journey. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Now, the first thing is I saw this jewelry organizer. But let's open this and let's see. I don't look at measurements, and I should. And plus I'm new to this, to beading and everything, so I don't know. Well, I should have. To me, these look absolutely tiny. Okay, so let's open one. You do. It was a pack of three. How do you open this? Am I gonna? I don't want to break it. Okay, so I got it open, and let's see. So it's just got little compartments for the beads. Y'all, are these all this small? I just feel like these compartments are so tiny that you know I'm not gonna fit a lot of beads here because I thought, okay, I think each one is what 15. Yeah, five, um, 15 compartments. And I thought, okay, I can put all my beads in here. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe charms, though, um, I can put in here. But I saw that, and I'm like, well, I'm going to need some kind of storage. Because part of me says, okay, just wait till you get your craft room situated. Then you can try and figure out, you know, what storage you want. I don't have time for that. I need something now. <laughs> So I saw that, so I picked that up. And then I saw a whole mess of beads and whatnot. So I saw these round beads. Let's see, oh this, um, let me open this. I think total, I can't, I don't remember the prices, but I think total I spent $27 of my own money plus the 20 that I used for the, um, you know, for the rewards money, so. And then I did have to pay for shipping. Blah, I hate paying for shipping, y'all. I'm just looking around for something to put these in, and I don't see anything, so let's just do it like this. But I think these are really pretty. You get a variety of beads, um, different, a couple different, like, textures, I guess you would say, and different colors. So I really think these are gonna be fun to use. I love these sparkly ones, and I just really like the way these look. So I saw these, and I said, okay, I have to have these. Let's see. Let me look in the camera and see if you get a good... I guess you can see them. But this is a pack of 100. It just says round beads. I don't know the name. Assorted bead sizes. See, like I said, I know nothing about bead sizes. So, But I thought I would give these a go. Because I think, like I said, I think they're really pretty. So I love this blue, these blues and those pinks. I just, I think they're really pretty. So I'm going to attempt to use those. So let me put these back. I keep meaning to get like a little, even from Dollar Tree or something, just like a little plate or dish, you know, so when I do hauls, I can pour them in there because I see people doing that. Okay, so here's another one. Let me open this one. Oh, can you just tear? Was I cutting? Can you just tear it across? Apparently not. Okay, so let's open this one. And then let's dive into here. And let's see what juicy goodness we have in here. See, I was thinking those bead containers for this, but I just going to fill that right up, so I don't know. But let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we have, you know, different colors. They're almost, I think they're like pastels, right? I think. 
Aren't the names of them on here, y'all? I don't know, but I think these are pretty. You know, I like these colors. They kind of, I want to say like shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't know. To me, it, it fe almost feels like, like I said, like they shimmer. So I really, I really like those. So these should be fun to use. And y'all, I am, I'm sure I've said it, but I am just beginning this journey. I mean, literally, when I show you the pokey tool, that is the first pokey tool I have ever made in my life. Okay, so then there is this set, this like pastel set, I guess. Um, let me open this and let's just pull some of these out. They're different sizes. They're really cool. And, you know, I do like the colors in these. It says there are assorted round bead sizes, seven millimeter, 9.5. So, but again, you know, I think these are going to be fun to work with. Oh, got a runaway bead. So that is that pack. Come, this would be a lot easier if I had something to put them in. Okay, then I saw this set, and y'all, I am so excited to use these, these rainbow ones, because y'all know I love color, love rainbows, so I think... These are my favorite. I saw these and I'm like, yes, I, I, I have to. Oh, and there goes one flying away. But, um, yeah, I think these are really cool. I l absolutely love the colors. So those are going to be fun to put. Because I'm thinking pokey tools and I'm thinking, I don't know if you call it like chunky charms or like dangles, I guess, to hang off of a planner. And the top of a ink, ink, the top of a glue, a glue bottle. And then there is this set. Can you see these through? Yeah. This is this set of beads. It is a variety pack, all like the purples. But you get different, you know, like you have that star, you have these. So you get different kinds of beads in here. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I think right now what I need to do is just build like a basic stash, like different colors. And I'm looking for that. Here it is. That runaway bead. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, just build a stash and maybe try, you know, getting different colors and whatnot and maybe different types of beads. And that's a big pack. It says, what, half pound? So there's a lot of beads in there. Then I saw this, these glass beads. They're, um, oh, what were they called? I want to, I don't want to say black eye. There's something eye. I don't know. Oh, it says, doesn't it? Black and white eye. Ooh. So I saw these and I think these are really cool. The black and the white. I think it would be cool to do like all black and white beads on something. So I saw those and I'm like, yep, add to cart. But like I said, I just wanted to add enough to where I could use that, um, the, the rewards. Okay, and then I think there's two more items. I saw these, and I thought these were bigger, because of course in the picture they show them, you know, really big. But I, I think I can use these as spacer beads, because... Um, because they are small. So I think these would be good, like I said, to use as spacer beads. And now what I'm learning is that I bought all silver, like silver jump rings, silver head pins. Um, so I think I'm going to have to branch out and get some gold ones too, because I do have some gold um, charms and whatnot. So, but anyway, I have that. And then there were these... Um, fine round nose pliers and I got the round ones because it's supposed to be I guess easier when you use the head pin and when you have to um whatchamacallit when you have to turn it um I'll show you on one of mine but these were I think they were on clearance or they were on sale so I thought I would you know get those because they were only a few dollars so why not and I think 
That's my entire haul. Let me make sure. Yeah. That's my entire Michaels haul. Now, okay, here's what I started. Obviously, I didn't get too far. But this is the pokey tool that I started. And this is just, and now I can't find it. It's called a scribe pen, I believe. It's from, yeah, it's from um, Hobby Lobby. And I showed this. It was $2.99, but I got it. They were having half off, 50% off. And it's just this. And so I put these on there, but I didn't glue them yet because I'm not going to leave it like this. I think I want to use possibly some type of spacer between them. I'm not sure. So that's why I wanted to do this video with these so I could kind of play around with it. And then I started making some dangles, you know, to hang down from the top here. So I cut a piece of chain, which, yeah, when I cut it, it went flying. But um, I, I hauled this metal chain from Hobby Lobby when it was reduced. And again, it's silver. But I think next time I'm going to need a little bit bigger um, chain, like the little bit bigger links. Because when I went to put these on, like these are some beads and some, I think these are spacer beads. These clear ones came with this pack. But I couldn't use it on here because they didn't fit. They were too small. But what was I saying? I was saying something. And now I totally forgot. Y'all, I forgot what I was saying. But anyway, I was making this as a dangle to kind of hang from up here on the side. And it's not done, but I thought I would put a charm on the end. Oh, I was saying that I need to buy bigger, like a bigger chain, I think, because when I went to put the jump rings on, the jump rings I bought from Hobby Lobby did not fit. But luckily, I had some from Dollar Tree, and those fit. That one fit on this chain. So, yeah, I think it's. I think that's the jump ring. I think from it must be from the Dollar Tree because the Hobby Lobby ones, like I said, they were too thick. They didn't fit. But you know, it's a learning experience. Like I said, because I've never, I've never done this before. Now, I did actually start a video. I tried filming this, but you all, it turned into a hot mess because things weren't fitting. Things were flying. <laughs> and I still don't know what I'm doing completely, so I thought I would just show you what I've done so far. And then what I did is, and these are just a sampling, but these are all, and I've hauled these before, different like charms that I bought from um, Timu. So I was thinking of going through these and just, you know, seeing if any of them would work, you know, on here. Maybe like I found this one, so I thought I would hang that one from the end. And this is going to hang like this because it's going to hang on this little part. So I may do another, like I think I made another one of these, yeah, right here. So I could maybe hang another one on there. But I'm not sure if I want to keep going with these or throw in some, you know, some other charms. I think I want to throw some in. But now that I have these other beads, you know, that I hauled today or that, you know, arrived today, I could maybe mix them in with it too. Not quite sure. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And another thing I'm finding out is that when I start something like this, just like I did with planning, I'm thinking, okay, what is supposed to go where? You know, what are you supposed to do with this? What are you supposed to do with that? But you know what? Honestly, it's what you what you want. I mean, there's no rule. There's no rhyme or reason. You just kind of, you know, make it what you want. And again, this is my first one, so with each one, I'm going to learn, and I'm going to get better at it. And I would like to film them, but like I said, this one was just, I started, but then I had to stop it because it was just, it was too much. So, um, yeah, I believe that's it. Hope this video isn't too long. Hope I didn't bore anybody. Um, <laughs> but thank you for joining me today. If you have any suggestions for making these or making these, please share them. I would very much appreciate it in the comments. If you like this video, please hit that like button as well as leave a comment in the comment section. If you want to see more of my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would really help me out. I am trying to grow my channel. Um, I would like to reach that 1100 mark soon. I finally reached the 1000 mark a little while back, so now I'm going for 1100. Um, so in any event, thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody has a fantastic week and I can't wait to see you in another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.